Hi guys, that's it with another episode of my showcase series. This time it is episode 68, and tonight I will be showcasing the random Marvel Minor Keys in my personal collection, part 5. A ton of books here as always guys. Some you'll know, some you possibly won't. Some valuable books, some books on the Roy's, some books that just mean something to me. But before we go there guys, I've been running polls as you know on my community page and I stick up little polls most days. I'm going to give you the results of a recent DC one. I asked you guys what was your favourite DC Extended Universe movie, basically the DC movies that have come out of late and the ones that have made it to the cinema and I gave you five to choose from and my five were the Justice League Snyder Cut, Batman vs Superman the Director's Cut, Aquaman, Man of Steel and Wonder Woman, the first Wonder Woman movie. And coming in at, in fifth place was Batman vs Superman the Director's Cut with 11% of the votes. Up next we had Aquaman with 16% of the votes. Up next, Man of Steel with 19% of the votes. And the joint winners this time, with 27% of the votes, was the Justice League Snyder Cut and the Wonder Woman movie. Thanks to the 37 people that voted. I've got another poll up right now. Go to my community page and have a little vote. Let's see what comes out number one. Okay, getting into the books now, guys. And I left us on letter M. I've been working my way through my long boxes and I left us on M. Now, I made a Marvel titled showcase recently and I forgot to show these two books in it. So I'm just going to wrap up the M's now, starting with Marvel graphic novel issue number four. And... Uh, you think it's the first printing, but no. Sadly, this is the sixth printing. I had to do a lot of research to find that out. And I paid £2.50 for this. Of course, this is the first appearance of the New Mutants. And uh, I picked this up in a charity shop in November of 2018. So it couldn't go wrong for £2.50. Nice to have that story. And I picked that up shortly before the film came out, I think. And then I had to pick this one up, being a big fan of the Jessica Jones Netflix show. This is a Marvel graphic novel, and I think this is number eight, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, this is The Death of the Purple Man. And I paid £1.19 for this book in the Imaginarium in Western. So I was delighted to add that. There aren't too many Purple Man keys. But of course, Purple Man is Zebediah Kilgrave, played by the fantastic David Tennant, a.k.a. Doctor Who. Okay, carrying on with the M's. Let's get a couple of Marvel, uh, a couple of Bronze Age books. We've got Miss Marvel, issue number nine. And this is the first appearance of Deathbird, who is uh, Kalsi uh, Narami, or Neram, Neramami, or Neramani, or I'll get there in the end. Uh, this was the first appearance of Tabitha Townsend, and... Uh, Three pound for this one. This book can regularly go for fifteen to twenty. So happy to pick that one up in the con of Cheltenham. That was a mouthful. That Deathbird uh, real name. Up next, Miss Marvel issue nineteen, and this is the first appearance of Steve Danvers, who is a, obviously a family member to Carol, and he appeared in the um, Captain Marvel movie. £3 for that one in the local antique centre. I have uh, Miss Marvel issue 16, 17 and 18, but I showed them off in my uh, Bronze Age keys. You know, the first uh, cameo of uh, Raven, full appearance. Okay, uh, some more recent Miss Marvel keys now. This is Miss Marvel issue 13. And this is the first appearance of Camran, an inhuman who is rumoured for the Miss Marvel show. £3.56 for that on eBay. I've had a couple of them though. And then from the next volume, we have Miss Marvel issue number one. And this one is a £20 plus book at the moment. This is the first appearance of Red Dagger, Kareem, a Pakistani vigilante. 
and I think he's going to be a love interest of Miss Marvel, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, three ninety nine for that one on eBay. I've had two or three of those again. Made some good money off it. And then from that same run, we have Miss Marvel issue number two, and this is the first appearance of Taisha Hillman Khan. He was basically the stepsister of Kamala Khan, if I'm not mistaken. She will be in the Miss Marvel TV show. Two ninety five for that one on eBay. Uh, issue thirty one, all the way up now. This is the first appearance of Skunk Girl with Samantha, and this is the regular Valerio. Uh, Shit, shit City or uh, something like that. Anyway, cover three thirty seven for that one. Forbidden Planet Online, and the cover that goes for a bit now is the uh, Stephanie Hans variant cover. Again, three thirty seven for that one. First appearance of Skunk Girl. Then we get on to some Morlocks. This is Morlocks issue number one. And this is the first appearance of a few uh, characters that have made it onto telly. Uh, this is the first appearance of Angel Dust, who was, was Christina in the Den Deadpool movie, uh, played by the actress, and I can't even think of her name now, who played Cara Dune in the um, Mandalorian. It's also the first appearance of Shatter and the Trader, two characters that were in the Gifted TV show, which I really enjoyed, X-Men-based uh, show. We've also got the first appearance of Cell and Dr. Metalus. Uh, that was a, a gift from the wife, and that was a Christmas present of 2017. So that's a good book, I think. Undervalued book. If I ever make an undervalued list, I think that will make it. Three characters that have made it onto TV. Then we move on to Mutant X, issue one. And this is the first appearance of the Mutant X team. I had to pick this one up because the Mutant X team are in my encyclopedia. £1.67 for that in Bristol, Excelsior Comics. And then I've been watching this show. It is pretty diabolical. But uh, it's X-Men related. So we've got Mutant X. And that is like the TV show uh, uh, adaption. That is a shocking show. I guess that would be early 90s. Let's get into some new Mutants books, starting with issue three. And this is the first cameo appearance of the Demon Bear, a monstrous phantom that haunts Daniel Moonstar's dreams. Of course, he was the main villain of the New Mutants movie. Three quid for that one in Worcester, out of this world. This book has always garnered a bit of coin. This is New Mutants issue 14. And uh, a lot of people say this is uh, Rasputin's uh, first appearance, but uh, Alana Rasputin joins the mu New Mutants in this issue, and Alana uh, Rasputin first appears in Giant Size X-Men issue 1 as a child, and then and as, as an adolescent in X-Men issue 160, with her rapid ageing explained in the limited series Magic, Alana and Storm. Now, Alana joins the New Mutants in issue 14, and is referred to by the name Magic in a character profile in the New Mutants issue number 21. Okay, four pound for that. So that's a big breakdown of what this book actually entails. Pick that up at the uh, Birmingham Con of 2019. That was a good price, I thought, four pound. Uh, up next, New Mutants issue 18. And this is the first appearance of Warlock, uh, a character that was in the New Mutants movie. And it's also the first appearance of Magus. And Peg Moonstar. Uh, £3 for that one in Western Supermare. I'd like to get the first full appearance, but I do have the cameo of New Mutants issue 25. This is the first cameo appearance of Legion, David Haller. Of course, Legion had his own TV show. Yeah, I got, I've seen the season one. It was a bit too bizarre at times, but I do intend to watch the second season. That was a, a gift again from the wife. So that was a freebie in 2018. Again, I want the first uh, print of this, but I do have the second print. New Mutants issue 87. Uh, of course, the first appearance of Cable. And this is the uh, metallic gold ink second printing cover. 67p for that though. 
bargain because even this second printing can go for 10 quid on a good day new mutants issue 99 is the first appearance of shatterstar who is a gavidra seven he was in the uh deadpool 2 movie his first appearance of feral warpath uh who was james proudstar hump the second appearance of domino and sunspot quits the team so bang for your buck with that issue two quid for that yeah, the Gloucester Kong of 2017. Issue 100, of course, is the first appearance of the X-Force team. Uh, it's the identity of Strife is revealed, and we got the death of Brutes in this book. £2.50 for this one in the Emporium in uh, Tewkesbury. Oh, sorry, Strayed. 2017, that's the first printing. But I do also have... The second printing gold foil cover, which I picked up in Planet War Stars in Gloucester for just a pound. Happy to have that second printing. And uh, to go with that, I have the New Mutants Annual 6. Uh, I showed you just now the first full appearance of Shatter Star. This is the first cameo appearance of him as a pinup. And the uh, predates his official first appearance of uh, the cameo. Sorry, the full appearance on issue 99. Okay, £7 for that one in Birmingham, 2019. Then I have the New Mutants Special Edition, number one. And this was uh, heating up at one point because this is the first appearance of Valkyrie. Uh, the Valkyrie's team and its members missed Axe. And uh, the first appearance of Brightwind, the Wind Horse of Danny Moonstar. And I think Mist was being lined up to be... One of the Valkyries in a Thor film at one point, but it never materialised. £2.2 two for that one on eBay. That is low grade. Some more recent New Mutants books. We have issue two. This is the first appearance of Anole. And uh, it was Victor Vic Barwoski. He was in the X-Men Last Stand movie. There was also the first appearance of Hellion. It was uh, Julian Keller. First appearance of Mercury and Wallflower as well. Three quid for that. I think that is a Joshua Middleton cover, if I'm not mistaken. Another Joshua Middleton cover is issue four. I keep finding this book of late. This is the first appearance of the, uh, is it the fourth prodigy? Who is David Alain? pound thirty-eight for that. This book can go up for 20 plus at the moment. Picked up in the Cheltenham Con of 2019. £1.38. This book was really hot at one point due to the Deadpool 2 movie, but it never actually panned out that way. New Mutants issue 8 is the first appearance of Surge, Noriko Ashida. Uh, the character was uh, rumoured to be the love interest of the teenage, uh, ne teenage Negasonic Warhead, but that was not the case. But still 50p for that, and that is a £15 to £20 book. Second pile of books. I'm going to get a new Warriors book. This is the, a recent volume. This is issue seven. And this first appearance of a, she, uh, a, a female villain called Sheath. Who was in the Marvel Rising animated show. £2.75 for that. She could th Sheath was uh, good with knives, I believe. Th used to throw daggers. Uh... A book, a couple of books I picked up for the Agents of Shield show. This is Nick Fury, uh, Agent of Shield issue number one. A recent pickup. This is the first appearance of uh, Werner uh, von Strucker, the son of Baron von Strucker. He was in the Agents of Shield show. Three pounds seventy for that on eBay. Then we have a prestige format back book, Nick Fury versus Shield. And this is the first appearance of Alexander Goodwin Pierce. Now, he was played by Robert Redford in the uh, Winter Soldier movie. So this is a really undervalued book, I think. Of course, he returned briefly in the uh, Endgame movie. It's also the first appearance of... Um, uh, oh, that's right, Alfonso Al McKenzie, who was in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show. He was like the mechanic of the team. Big, strong guy. And uh, he was also in the Slingshot TV show. Which was like a web series. So £3.20 for that. An undervalued book for sure. Just because of Goodwin Pierce. 
And uh, up next we've got Nick Fury's Howling Commandos issue one. This is a recent volume. And this is the first appearance of Warwolf, uh, Vic Marcus. He was in a, one of the... I think it was an Agents of Smash Halloween special, if I'm not mistaken. It's on the Disney Plus show, I know that. And Warwolf was in that. So I picked that up for that reason. One ninety nine for that on eBay. Have to show this novelty book, being a big uh, NFL fan. Pittsburgh Steelers is my team, you know that. This is NF. We've probably all got this book, haven't we? NFL Super Pro, issue number one. Just a pretty fun book. Of course, there's Spider-Man. Swinging to save the quarterback, I guess. He went from sacking quarterbacks to tackling crime. NFL Super Pro. What is that all about? Let's get some Nova going. Uh, I ha have Nova what, issue number one. I showed that in my Bronze Age keys. This is Nova issue number two. And this is the first appearance of Powerhouse, Condor and Caps. And of course, the second appearance of Richard Ryder's Nova. Two quid for that in Gloucester. Issue four is the first appearance and origin of the Corruptor, who is Jackson Day, another character in my encyclopedia. Picked up in 2017. Issue 21 is the first appearance of Harris Moore, who later becomes Comet. £2.10 for that. Moving on, we've got a recent Nova title, and this is number eight. Nice book, this one. This is the first appearance of Cosmo. A Russian cosmonaut dog with telepathic abilities and he made a brief cameo appearance in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. So it's the first appearance of nowhere a celestial's decapitated head repurposed as a space station at the edge of the universe and it is the first appearance of the Luminats and its uh, Luminal sorry and its members uh, Sinosure, Abyss, Crater, Discharge, Phase and Suspender. But this book can get up to about 20 quid for the first appearance of Cosmo. Three quid for that in Cheltenham. Have to show this book now. We're on to the O's. Uh, my daughter used to sketch a lot of blank covers for me. She's at Cardiff University to illust illustration. This is Old Man Hawkeye, issue number one. And that's her cover that she did for me. And that she did that for me in back into 2018 so if she ever makes it uh, into the comic business uh this could be worth something one day three pounds 75 i paid for that blank cover then uh we got some omega books this is omega the unknown issue number one found this at the car boot for a quid this is the first appearance of omega and the unknown and the first appearance of amber grant and dr thomas B uh, barrow Pretty low grade, but it's a key. Bronze Age. I had to pick this one up. This is Omega the Unknown issue 8. This is the first appearance of the second fool killer, who is Greg Salinger. And he was the villain of uh, the third season of Jessica Jones. Heads it makes Mylar. Jessica Jones keys there, there. It's also the second appearance of Nitro. And this is the issue where Omega starts speaking to people in complete sentences because he never used to speak. Uh, Nitro was actually the man responsible for Captain Marvel's cancer and eventual death from the disease. Six ninety five for that on eBay. Issue number nine is the first full appearance, the previous one being the cameo of the full killer. It's also the death of the uh, blockbuster in this one. 750 for that on eBay. A couple of power uh, pack books just to finish up with for this one. Power pack issue number 12. This is the first appearance of the beautiful dreamer Iona uh, Bean and uh, she's the inspiration for the character dreamer played by uh, Elena Satin in the gifted TV show. She could like uh, read people's minds. So uh, that was a freebie from the wife, uh, sorry from my daughter. Christmas of 2017, most present. Then we go to issue 17, and this is the first appearance of Tattletail, who is Franklin Benjamin Richards. And this is where Franklin Benjamin Richards joins the Power Pack team. And uh, he is rumored to be in the Power Pack TV show at some point in the Disney Plus. Whether that happens, I don't know. 
And I've had a couple of these, £1.11 for that, Area 51 in Bristol. Check out my comic hunting adventures videos for that shop. And finally, Power Pack issue 18 is the first full appearance of Curse, who is Al Grimm the Strong, uh, a Thor villain. And that was a freebie again from my daughter in 2017. So that's it guys, that's a wrap for this time around. All done in about 20 minutes. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Uh, the support means everything to me and I love putting out these videos. Thanks and bye bye.